What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna play 3 tables of 1-2. We have the 2-5 table open. Uh, for the moment the pool is empty so if there would be some players will jump in as well. So for the moment let's start with these 3 tables of 1-2. It just runs a bit slow, it seems. I'm not sure why. Hope the delay is not gonna get worse. Um, I guess the short stack, weaker short stack here, and some uh, weaker players as well. I can fly this one exploitatively even this is not a thing flooding within these positions and we get squeeze and nothing we can do we are not over calling with this player just having pot behind with king 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 queen off you would have called with king queen suited if you elected to call pre even with it um actually i would have liked more uh, if I'm thinking now, I would have liked more of triading king 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 queen off and flooding king and suited because king queen suited is too good um, to get to three bet and to fold against the jam because we have to fold uh, against the 40 bb jam and king queen off we don't mind if you get four red because we can happily fold it. Yes, it would have been better. Either way. It's not that a big, that of a big deal. Deal there when flatting King Queen off against the weak player with that stack size. Yeah, we're checking. We're checking range, and no reason to bet. Um, I barely have any six six, and with an ace we just chop so. Just check calling. Oh, I see. That's a ridiculous size. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's <laughs> very short. Okay. We are calling. And we're sitting here. We could have see it uh, bigger here, but it's fine as well as small for small. King and seven, king seven off is a mix of all three options call three bet and fold we're gonna fold this time i mean especially against 2.5 uh, i'd prefer to trade it or fold not to call and against that size as well folding especially short stack
Um, he does have also some of the pairs. He is not supposed to forbid all the times queen plus. Uh, and this is not a thing I would I sh I I didn't want to bet that size actually. I wanted to check. This is a misclick, and yeah, we we're just calling. I mean, he would have, he would definitely bet an over pair like this. So I don't have any seven x or almost no seven x. So that's why I'm gonna call. He would bet tens jacks as well, and on that card he shouldn't do much betting, or at least he sh should be very polarized. Yeah, a ten. Um, not really sure why is he betting that big after checking. Um, but I assume we can fold against that size. Against the block we would have called against that size. Hmm, not really sure. If he wanted to bluff, he would have bet with the uh, with the uh, heart. He would have bet or block any size uh, the turn usually so he's even I mean his value I think maybe very thinly with that size with a set or just aces with ace of hearts is king with ace of hearts not sure what exactly uh, would he bet that size but we are not calling especially that I marked him as a bit of a tighter player from the sample I have so far. So yeah, I have only a hundred hands on him, so not that relevant, but still. And here we can check, we can block. He could have some 8s plus, 8s, 9, 10s, even jack sometimes, so we're just gonna check it back. 7 with a Baxter kicker, so no reason to battle that much this turn. And we are gonna check it back, no reason to bet it, neither the river. Gonna bet 60% pot and jump the turn on a clean turn. And when he does min raise, he does have something, so we are not gonna fault. Good luck, us. 5 6 off, okay. Just cutting you the right tag. And uh, slightly over bet here. With bottom set. You could have led this flop also. Against that big size we are not raising. We are just, at least not that often, but mostly calling. What just what just did happen? I fall it against misclick. I'm not sure what's happening here. Very strange. And 
usually all the writing is board and UTG and MP asking X against small blind we're gonna bet polar not see betting range and a top air top kicker just falls into that category here we can flat we can three bet on a flat this time With Pector, we can stab, make him fold, king queen, queen jack. Against the check raise, um, and a very good opponent, creative also. We can flat uh, with back to flush draw, not all the times, but definitely some of the times. And against the gem, it's very close. 25 PB, H check suited. I'm not sure what he what his uh, squeeze gem range looks like, but I assume he jams some middle and low pair. So we're gonna gamble this time and see what he yeah have. Okay, that's unfortunate, but we can still have some outs. Heart, no heart. Too bad. And we would fall this one. Because this is exactly the the reason I flat it there. I didn't three bet. Usually I would have three bet that hand. Uh, this is a mix. And king queen suited. 
against MP and 3-bet from cutoff is very 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 close let's do it this time but not thrilled about it I wanted to say I prefer a, a jam instead of a call because he's gonna call all his better hands that dominates me and that's the reason I don't like it that much uh, very hard to navigate it past flop especially without back to flush draw we, we are gonna make a small civet and take it from there and betting small and over betting the river um, yeah he does have all the 4x so I'm gonna give him credit this time mm, just we can bet again small or check both options are fine he will definitely have to call his king once more and force him to call some nines, tens, jacks, tens got there um, I'm not sure I get called by wars um, and I have to check it down hopefully to win against jacks or ice king yeah jacks I could have checked all I would have also checked the turn and block the river on a non uh, ace king or um, queen actually queen yeah for my hand would have been great but not for my range after checking the turn um, either way on a on a blank would could have bet block the river um, but when he checked I would have been the, would have had the same result in that case with this run out he would have called the block uh, with the tens so definitely would have called it but I might have um, got another another run out another over card or another bad card uh, either for me or for uh, for him so I would have lost a value so I preferred I preferred just to block again on the turn to get value 100% uh, getting a call from under pairs uh, and then on an ice king as well and then evaluating the river and definitely check raising cut shot back to flush draw We can also mix some of the times when there are wake up players and blinds, but usually three betting. Mm, this is very close. Actually, no, King Eight Suit is not close. And checking back the turn, no reason to bet again. And checking, taking to show them. Um, against that big size, we usually call and will call in this case also.
Um, we're not thrilled about that big bet again on the turn, but we are still not falling. And hope to get a showdown. Even I'm doubting it that he would have bluffed, but let's see. Uh, this is very low open. I don't like it. I was distracted by this hand. I'm not sure why I opened it. Yeah, I I just um, I was just afraid that this will happen on the river, but we cannot do. Um, we couldn't have done better. So anything else? So we are just falling. We cannot call again and checking down. Yeah. Hope to win against this king ten king queen. Mm, I know I'm I'm blocking all of his back bluffs, flush draw gut shots, back to flush draw, so I have to call it some of the times. Against that insane format. I mean, not speed, just a weaker player. We are just gonna fall this check off. We would have fall it all. Um, almost all the time. So anyway, against. Even against the smaller size H check off is very very close. And against that big size, let me think about it. We'll think raising. We can call, but I like more to raise. Not sure what is more. Why is he betting that big? We're gonna. Bluff it through. Ah, oh, unless he does raise. <laughs> so he is really a fish. He is really a fish. But nothing we can do. Uh let me think about it. It's more than a min raise, so we are committed. So no way he would ways with a flush draw like this so we can consider that we are ahead some of the times so almost sure we are behind so we're just having some three outs four outs at the best with the four so we are not gonna call this and let me think about it here we can block against his mm, not sure. Five fix got there. Queen would not gonna. It's not gonna fall. Maybe three or something else. But yeah, not not like this block bet actually. Don't like this. Uh, the same player. And we are gonna check it back and getting there. And we're definitely gonna value bet very big against this very weak player who plays very strangely. Maybe he just check all um, with King X there. And we can call some of the times. 
because I assume he is gonna bet range, but we're gonna fall this time. We can even gem cutter versus bottom jacks, but against but when we are a bit deeper, we are not that thrilled about it. So just gonna bet C bet small, getting called by all of his worst pairs. Um, checking now. And um, on one side we can block 10% against his 10th, 9th, 8th. On the other side, he could have an ace. He floated with ace queen, ace 10, not sure which ace, ace 5, and not gonna fall. And he's not gonna veil bet either, so we're just check falling. Uh, very, very strange. So very strange so he could have of course some king gigs but hmm not sure which bluff would he have so yeah gonna fall this time <laughs> very interesting run out here with an ace wanna check And I assume we can value but when he checks. With ace flash blocker, we are just calling. Otherwise, you could have three bet. Logging some ace three, ace five bluffs. Um, we are not gonna do anything but calling. Some bluffs, some some draws got there, but I mean some value hands, but we are not falling aces. Two four, yeah, nice hand. And thinking here, what to do? He. Could have checked some 80s, 90s. Not sure. Exa not exactly sure. What is this? Dong. Um. Just checking to induce. I mean, there are a lot of draws who which miss, so I'm not getting called. Maybe he would he slow played some over pair some of the time, but this is very rarely the case. And we get more value from checking and inducing a bluff from his side. And not sure what this means, but we're not gonna fall. A set. <laughs> what the fuck was this? He just stung bet with a flush draw and then got there with two pair. And yes, I'm just jamming. Yes, like like I said, we are getting more value from his uh, bluffs there than value uh, from his value hands because he does not have that many value hands and for winning here 
most of the times. We are not running that well against fishes today. And overall, blocking again. We are a bit deeper. We have to be a bit careful. But I assume he does have all of his ace kings, almost all of his ace kings. At this depth, uh, depth, style, uh, depth stack size, and he will definitely call. He will call ace jack. Hopefully we don't see a raise. Actually, it's, he's not supposed to raise that much on that turn. So I have all the ace-queen, uh, aces, queens. He does not have aces. Very few queens, so just jacks uh, and ace-jack. And ace-jack does not make any sense to raise. And jacks uh, usually should raise the flop with, so not to slow play that much or just call again uh, because I have also even if he has jacks I have also king 10 bluffs there so there's no much reason to for him to raise the turn against my double barrel on the turn out so we're just Mm. I want to say we're just calling, tributing falling is also not that attractive, and falling here. Ah, uh, we're just falling against 4x, ace5 suited. It's a very nice hand to play from any position, but that step size against that size, we have, in order to have fall like you, you have to tribute very big, so we are committing ourselves, so on. We are dominated by his bad aces because he's a weaker player. Also, I'm very sure a lot of ace, uh, bad aces offsuit, and that's the reason I just prefer to fall there. Uh, five scrolling here. Some of the times this time we're gonna fold. Usually, this also mix calling this time. Uh, usually this also mix call tribute and fold will fold this time. Want to say? Usually we'll get. Let me see that hand again. Yeah, the fives. One did say that I'm gonna. I'm supposed to open UTG and hot cut off um, about fifty percent of the times, and that's why uh, I should call hundred percent of the time when getting three bet. But giving the pool and the players I'm opening, especially from MP, I'm opening almost 100% and that's why I'm gonna fold it some of the times, so I'm not gonna call it all the times.
Not sure why it is opening triple on five and C betting almost bot, but we are not no reason to take this hand to uh turn into a bluff even we are almost never good. I'm just curious what his line is, what he's taking this line with, but <laughs> against the bat we are falling. Doesn't make that much sense unless some slow plays. And yeah, we are gonna fold. And still, we can check, we can start betting small for protection. And it seems that the pool is not that great anymore, but even at 1 2, we are gonna sit down at sit out at the next big blind. We didn't have that much action, but we had a couple of interesting hands. And this is all for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Once so, uh, not don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and see you in the next video.